Okay, so her background is diverse, giving her a unique insight into a growing problem. International best-selling author Dr. Carol Salloway has just released her second novel called Gracie's Gone, which focuses on child trafficking. She joins us now to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. We have lots to dive into this morning. Yes. So first, let's start, let's start a little bit with your background too, because as we mentioned, it's very diverse and I'm, I'm very interested to know kind of how your, your background shaped you into to storytelling. Okay, well, I, I forgot to tell you that before all of this, I was an English teacher. Of course you of were. Course. Okay, so that makes sense on why you're writing. So I'm master's in English. Yeah. So before I became a chiropractor, mm -hmm. before I became a qualified medical examiner, I was an English teacher. Okay. And every English teacher, we all think we can write a novel. Okay, well, you obviously have, though, in some best-selling. This is your first one, by the way. Yes. Sex Happens. And this is a, a kind of a follow-up, because you say it's actually the flower girl in this first one, now in the second novel, goes missing. Is that correct? Yes, and, well, all of the characters are, you know, they were sitting around doing nothing after I finished the first one. Okay. Book, so I had to put them to work. And it, it the the first Friday book club from the from the first novel, which my readers fell in mm -hmm. love with, so they're there. And the main character, Alex, who happens to be a chiropractor. Okay. Didn't know what I else. I wonder to, why, yeah. Well, okay. I didn't know what else to have her do during the day. <laughs> I mean, you know. And uh, so the second book is kind of a follow-up in that she comes to to have a, n a new family, a mm. wonderful blended family, until disaster I was going to say, yeah, it takes a turn, though. And I told you that I was a little nervous about child trafficking. We, You are from, your home base right now is California. Right. Florida, it's a big issue, though, as well. And part of this, what I love with this, is actually 25% of this novel, the proceeds, go to what? Child Rescue which is an organization that goes in and rescues and rehabilitates. Mm. I know uh, they did a bust in Peru and the girls are in a prison because they can't put them anyplace oh, else. So that's why 25% mm -hmm. of the proceeds and also awareness yeah. are going, you know, people can donate more mm -hmm. than 25% than um, are going towards child rescue because it's so important. Yeah. And you say, I don't want to give anything away, but I told you as a mom, I'm expecting baby number three. I, Those I kind can, of stories tell. are hard for me to read, but you said, no, 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 you can read this one. Again, I'm I, don't want to give any, I don't want to give anything away. Well, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. You know how you're in a supermarket because mm -hmm, you're a mom, mm -hmm. and suddenly your child's not there. No, oh, God. You know uh -huh. the panic. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I wanted to make the parents feel okay you know not not the horrible stuff that can happen to you mm -hmm. know when a child is trafficked but to see what the parents go through and when the parents are raw you mm -hmm. can't imagine what secrets yeah. are revealed and dark family secrets come out and and you know everybody is is on edge waiting yeah. and hoping and that's what I wanted to show. I wanted to show what the parents go through. Because, you know, I, I didn't want to do the little girl being yeah. scared and nervous and, and yeah. that. But. So we have about a minute left. And obviously this first novel did so well. And the second one now already creating so much buzz that I understand there's even some movie talks going on. What can you dish? I know you can't tell all. But give us what you can on way where we might see the story go next. The, the story is going. Okay. There is an agent who did Dream Girls. Okay. And she is shopping it around as we speak. Okay, sounds good. Well, you keep us posted. I will. You are actually traveling the country. Uh, it's with your husband, right? In the yes. RV. Yes. Going around and doing this book tour. So thank you so much for making a stop here in the we're, Bay Area. Oh, we thank you. It. Yep. We're How can going. people follow you and uh, figure out what you're doing next? And are you working on a third novel? Maybe. Uh -huh. We're going across the country selling the book like, yeah. like the Colonel did fried chicken <laughs> and uh, raising awareness. All right. Sounds good. Well, again, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by our station this morning. We appreciate it and we look forward to see where this goes from here. Keep us updated. I will. Thank okay. you so much.